everyone. Um, so, welcome back to another video. I am super, super excited about this one um, because I've been waiting a while to show you guys um, one of my favorite oil mixtures to make for natural hair. Now, in the past, I've done a video about um, hot oil treatments. Now, this is what I use to, um, well, since I have low porosity hair, I deep condition my hair and then I coat my hair in oil. So, I will be doing a separate video on that, but I want to show you guys what I use to make that oil mixture. So, there's plenty of goodies. Stick around and I will show you guys exactly how I'm going to do this. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with my heavy carrier oils. I'm going to be adding about um, half an ounce. And the way I'm going to measure this, you can use if you have um, some kind of, you know, uh, measuring cup, you can use that. But I have a empty color applicator bottle here. It still has a little bit of oil left over from before. And it also has the sides marked with the fluid ounce measurements. Um, you can get this at any beauty supply store. Sally's will be just fine and it's super cheap. All right, first carrier oil is going to be hemp oil. I have organic um, cold pressed hemp oil. I'm going to unscrew my little cap here. And then just to make this easier, I'm taking the cap off this one as well. And then I'm going to pour half fluid ounce in here. Next up, I've got my apricot oil. Um, I got this from my local health food store. Um, you can order it online. Um, I think it's organic. It doesn't say so. It might not be. Um, but this is really great for softening the hair um, and just moisturizing it. It's also really great for aged or mature skin as well if you have that. Again, adding that half a fluid ounce. Next up, I've got my Jamaican um, black castor oil. I'll be adding half a fluid ounce. These measurements don't really need to be precise. You can just eyeball it whatever you feel comfortable with. And this is super, super, super thick. Now you can see there's like um, a dark green tinge to the oil mixture and that is from the hemp seed oil. Alright, now we're moving to the lighter carrier oils. This is sweet almond oil. It's a very popular in a lot of um, you know, oil mixtures. You know, um, it's very good for your skin as well. So I'm not going to spend too long describing the benefits. And here I'm going to add a full fluid ounce. So I'm just unscrewing this. And then adding it. So these lighter oils are going to be more of them just because we really want to take advantage of their moisturizing benefits and not have a high concentration of carrier oils in our mixture. Next up, I've got Yehobo oil, one of my all-time favorites. It's so light and its um, chemical structure mimics um, the chemical structure of your own hair sebum. So it actually sinks into the hair scalp, um, providing lots of moisture. Again, this one I'm adding a fluid ounce. And next up, I've got vitamin E oil. This one is just straight from Sally's, nothing special. You can find vitamin E oil anywhere. Um, I will caution, I know that some people are allergic to vitamin E oil, so if you are, you definitely do not want to be using this. But my scalp loves vitamin E oil, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. And I'm gonna shoot for one fluid ounce, but I know I'm running out, so I might not make it. So right now I'm up to um, five fluid ounces. Now, um, next up, I'm gonna grab my Comfrey hair. Comfrey is super amazing for your hair. It actually increases manageability. Um, it also is an anti-inflammatory reagent. So if you have any scalp condition, maybe eczema, 
or you have psoriasis um, on your scalp or any place on your body, comfrey is super amazing for that. And it also stimulates your hair follicles to grow. So if you got those hair goals, you might want to hit this up as well. I'm going to add 15 drops in here. All right, next up I've got rosemary. I love rosemary. It's really good for um, stimulating your scalp, getting that blood flowing back to your scalp. That's going to remove any impurities that are in your um, hair follicle and it's also going to help your hair grow, encourage that growth rate. If you're somebody who simply by genetics just has, um, just your hair doesn't grow fast enough. <laughs> Everybody's hair grows. The rate is just um, a huge limiting factor. If I can ever get this thing open. So I'm going to put 10 drops of this as well. And last but not least, I've got lavender. Super good for your hair. Um, it's also very calming. So again, if you have irritations on your scalp, um, dandruff, itchiness, this is really great for that. Again, I'm just going to add 10 drops the same. And I actually added a little bit more. Um, that's all right. A little bit of lavender. Never hurt anybody. Now I'm going to cover this up. So you can see I've got a nice strange green mixture. Green is good, right? That's what I think. I'm going to cover this top because I lost a little cap, and then I'm going to just shake it. Now you always want to make sure when you shake this, that this is seal tight and that you cover this. And there we go. I've got um, just under five fluid ounces of mixture and this is going to be really great it's going to last me for probably about two to three um, wash days and i always condition on all of my wash days so that was super easy right guys um again this is something i've been using for a long time probably for the last two and a half years um, sometimes i switch out oils or i add others back in just depending on the needs of my hair. Um, I've kind of steered away from olive oil just because it is a very heavy carrier oil and I find that once I use it on wash day, um, you know, it's trapped that moisture in and then maybe I get to like day two or day three and I want to moisturize my hair with water and um, unfortunately I still have the oil coating the outsides of my hair. So for a little porosity hair, you do have to be a little bit more careful in terms of um, the amount of carrier oils you use. If you use the lock method and then you just carry that out until your next wash day, then it doesn't really matter. But for somebody like me, I moisturize my ends every night because I got a whole lot of hair and the older it gets, the drier, the more brittle the ends get. Um, and then that makes my hair regimen change as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Super simple, super easy. And my next video is gonna be chatting about how I use this oil mixture in my deep conditioning routine. Um, and then I've also got a super special tool that I use and I will show you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget, I'm also on Periscope. I scope every Thursday. I have a Healthy Hair Chronicles chat um, at 10 a.m. on Thursday. I know that a lot of people are either working or in school, so be sure to catch the replay. And also, um, I kind of upgraded my little setup, so I'll be scoping. Um, my goal is at least once a day, but don't quote me on it. Probably more like three times a week. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing fabulous. Try this oil mixture. Let me know what you think if you see improvements in your hair condition, in your um, scalp, if you have any itchiness, any dryness, um, eczema, psoriasis or something. I hope that this helps a lot and I'll see you in the next one.